I'm reading more of the NPR podcast guide and I came across this great section about having skin in the game. So in the context of this, it's when you're podcasting about something, you should have some skin in the game. <clears throat> but I think this um, really has to do with almost everything in our life. Like if we're really invested into something, whatever it is we're doing, we should try to have some skin in the game. And the example he gives here is, um, this is from Kenny M Malone. He's the host of the podcast Planet Money. And he said when they started talking about the oil industry, they decided to purchase 100 barrels of crude oil and trade on that and see how that worked and get have skin in the game. And when they started talking about um, commercialization of space, they decided to launch their own satellite to see how that process went. And that is something that I encourage everybody to do. So right now I'm really learning about this podcasting thing and I'm doing it by diving in. I'm, I'm recording stuff. I'm learning about YouTubing and I'm doing it by recording these videos, even though they're just kind of crude and I'm just putting them together. I'm learning as I go. Same thing with NFTs. I really don't know much about NFTs. A couple of months ago, I had no idea what NFTs were. And as I started looking into them, I started learning about cryptocurrencies. I bought some cryptocurrency a little bit to get some skin in the game. I started mining cryptocurrency to learn how that worked and how much that affected my electricity rates and what, what's really going on. Um, same thing with NFTs. I purchased an NFT, the Adidas NFT, just to see how that goes and I'm watching it. So whatever it is that you're doing, whatever your goal is, look for how you can have a little bit more skin in the game. It doesn't mean you have to go all in and invest fully. It doesn't mean you have to quit your job and work at a sandwich shop if you're gonna open up a, a new sandwich shop location. But is there a way that you can have more skin in the game? All right, guys, take care. Hey guys, so today's schedule is a little bit uh, lighter. I only have a couple of meetings. I have a 2.30 call with um, members from another Toastmasters club to talk about a sponsorship uh, opportunity that they need some help with um, that I could help with or people from our club could help with. So I'm going to be doing that at 2.30. At 3 o'clock, I'm going to be meeting with um, Nick from my accountability group to talk about active campaign and see if that's the right solution for me. Finally pull the trigger today. And uh, as far as um, soccer practice, that is at 5.30. And up until then, my goal for today is to have all of this done before 5.30. And that is write, uh, spend 30 more minutes writing my speech, finish chapter two of the Widest Net workbook, and create my script for Team 11. We have another Team 11 uh, squad or group joining, and I really want to narrow down that script because the members that we have now are all used to the script. But um, I want to have something written that's like, here's how our Team 11 calls should go. That way our new group has success and we have a structure that we can follow. Um, and those are the priorities. I'm also going to be planning my weekly adventure with the kids. And we're going to be watching some of, uh, or hopefully finishing uh, Civil War today with the kids. Because uh, uh, we were watching it and we stopped it halfway. So that's the plan, guys. See you later. Bye. I almost forgot. My burpees and my fines. I did not hit my goals last week, which means I have to pay $50 in fines and do 100 burpees. So I have to do those as well today and get those recorded and sent to the accountability group. So that's part of my plan. Bye.